Hi folks, Paul here. I'm back. Uh, it's been ages since my last video. Um, it's been Christmas holidays, very hard to get anything done. I just dropped off my son to school, first day back at school. Uh, so theoretically, I'll have a lot more time to play with batteries. Unfortunately, um, next week I head off for a bike ride. I am, along with 600 other people, going to the top of the North Island of New Zealand and we are all riding 3,000 kilometres down the country to the bottom of the South Island from the top is called Cape Rana, all the way down to Bluff at the bottom of the South Island. Um, so uh, it is likely that there will be a couple of cycling related videos coming up in the next month or so um, in my channel. Uh, so heads up. Otherwise I thought I would show you a couple of presents that I got for Christmas. A friend of mine had this 3000 watt inverter lying around in his lockup and has lent it to me. So I've got it in and running and it's now, it runs the house lights and my fridge 24 7, which is very nice. And the other nice thing is that it's a 24 volt inverter. So it runs with my existing system quite happily. But the implications of a um, 3000 watt system running at 24 volts is that it has the potential, should I try to plug too many things in, to draw up to 100 amps or so. And all my feeble wiring and bits and bobs are nowhere near up to that kind of load. So if I were to move forward with this as my primary inverter, then I would have to update all my wiring and that would be quite a bit of effort. He also lent me this funky old um, monitor, I guess you could call it, um, which shows that my system's currently drawing um, 11 amps. Everything at the moment, because I haven't had time, is all even more Mickey Mouse than usual for me. And I'm in a, a bit of a quandary because the other Christmas present I got was this APC UPS. And this is a um, 2700, 2.7 kilowatt inverter. I've wired up a simple connector so that I can test it and it works fine. It's hellishly noisy. So I think this is exactly the same system that Average Joe is using in, in his setup. Uh, so this is 48 volts. So here's my quandary. I've got a nice grunty 3000 kilowatt inverter and a nice grunty 2.7 kilowatt inverter. This is 48 volts, this is 24 volts. My current system is all set up for 24 volts, but it's designed that it's very easy to reconfigure to 48, except that the wiring is inadequate for any serious loads above 10 amps. So I have to decide now that I've got both of these, whether to go forward with 24 volts or step up to 48 volts. The sensible thing would be to step up to 48 volts. However, um, in my testing, this inverter runs my fridge quite happily. This one cuts out when the fridge um, motor kicks in. So there's a huge inductive load when the fridge motor turns on and this shuts down when when that happens. Switching to 48 volts is a, is a better long-term strategy but I do want to run the fridge. So one possible scenario is that 
I switch to 48 volts, I buy a new fridge that is more energy efficient that will run off the the um, UPS inverter and also maybe a new bones washer because that also has too high a startup load and maybe also a new dishwasher but they don't have to be brand new I can buy second hand but as long as they are more efficient at their startup um, but that does imply a hell of a lot of mucking about just to move to a, a nicer inverter scenario so um, I still haven't uh, quite worked out what I'm going to do there so that's my general update I will probably post a few videos about cycling over the next month they'll have Tour Aotearoa at the in the title so you'll know to either hunt those out or avoid them if you're only interested in batteries otherwise thanks for watching and catch you later cheers um 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 um